one one question I did want to ask earlier uh, for all of you: Have any of you done? You know that. You know, has it just been trainee, junior makeup artist, or have you gone up and have you dropped down? You know, have you gone up and down? Any of you? Um, yeah, I, I have. I was. I've sort of predominantly just done trainee work, but um, I've been very fortunate. Nora Robertson. It always sort of makes me a junior on her. Um, when, when we work together I've worked with her a few times and also that's how I met Amy as well um, I don't know why I don't know maybe what she sees in me but I'm very lucky that I've worked as a junior twice on her projects and then on the next project I mean you know do they say oh it's a trainee position yeah. I mean, do you met do you mention well I, I've just been a junior or is it awkward is it challenging difficult um no, I just sort of, you know, I'm, I'll be lucky to be getting work because um, there's so many trainees out there. So I'll, I'll take that position. Obviously, it is on my CV that I've done um, a junior position, but I don't mind dropping down or going up. I, um, anyone else been up and down at all? A little bit. It's quite difficult when you first, when I first moved up to junior, I turned down a lot of trainee work and that was a bit panicky because you're thinking, oh, I'd need some work. But if you continually say yes to trainee, I don't think anyone will ever see me on the next level. And um, now I'm in a phase where I've just done four main team jobs as a junior back to back. And I'm getting artist jobs in a crowd room, but haven't yet had a main team artist job. And um, I, I, there's a few designers I work for and I would hope that at some point they are move me up. But I like working for them and I'm really happy to do whatever role in the team they feel is right for me because I think when the time's right, they will hopefully move me up. Um, but it can be a difficult one because on some things I feel, yeah, I, barbering, hairdressing, wig setting, like I feel like I could go in as an artist, whereas some things I might look at and be like, oh, I might do better as like a junior at this level because I'm still learning. But in this industry, you learn, you learn so much on every job because every job's so different. So I think you'll always be learning. It's just kind of grasping when you feel confident. Amy, Amy, because you've, you know, cause, you know, coming back, say, you know, being a supervisor on Bridgerton and stuff, how does it work, you know, in the real world, if for want of a better expression? Um, I'll, I'll take people at, at whatever level they, they say they are. Um, and then if I think that they're ready to move up, I'll move them up kind of thing. So, um, cause I actually, I, I met someone as a trainee who worked for me on Bridgerton as a junior and I'm now crowd supervising something else. And I, on Bridgerton, I just thought she shouldn't be a junior. She's way more talent, you know, she's ready to move up. So I just moved her up. I didn't even tell her that that's what I was doing. I've been employing her on the thing I'm working on now. And I moved her up to an artist because I just thought she shouldn't be working as a junior. So. I, I just yeah I'll I'll bring people in based on what they tell me that they are and then I'll I'll move them up if necessary. So. What about you, what Chrissy? I mean, do you have those same you know moments or have they been experiences with you at all? I, I think I think it's very much what Amy's saying. I think what you do is you kind of sort of take people on face value. I mean, you know, I'm in a slightly different position because I kind of have a core team that I've worked with for many years. Um, and when we're, and bringing people in into that core team is 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 kind of quite harder on on a main bus. I think it's um, I think in the crowd room you can kind of, especially if you've got a big crowd sort of coming in. You know you have got that wonderful um, a bit more freedom to kind of sort of bring people in as a trainee and sort of say okay you, you can actually you know because quite often what happens in crowd rooms is once the calls out on set and because we go out and they go out in group. You know the guys that are staying behind are kind of sort of playing about and sort of you know doing little training things and you know teaching each other different things i mean it's a wonderful learning environment that but i think it is it is quite hard on the main bus sort of working on sort of deciding when somebody's work, moving from i think from trainee to junior not so not so hard i think when it goes on to main assistants and when you're kind of about to be putting them on principal actors you have to kind of make sure that, that, you know, the person is comfortable, they're confident and that, you know, they kind of can, I mean, different designers work so differently anyway, but that they, they are going to be okay sort of working with the actor um, and that they're capable of doing what, what, what they need to do really. 
Marina, in the in the the workshop, is it is it is it a similar thing, a, a sort of junior trainee technician? Yes. Like um, so we do. You do start as a trainee unless you come in that you already your experience. I did start as a trainee, and then from trainee you kind of grow up. But it is not really junior. You go from trainee to. Uh, just you know technician whatever department you work in and then when you've gone set instead yeah you start as an assistant and then you are an artist so it's you know once you start going on your own you're an artist but uh yeah you definitely have trainees uh and you do training workshop you know it's you actually you do lots of work is uh of course on top you know coffee making sure people you know have coffees and cleaning around you do uh, you do lots of work as well and then yeah, you just jump into artists, yeah, you just then do things on your own. And are they, I mean, are you, you know, at, at Christian's, in Christian's workshop, do you kind of, or at, when you're a trainee, do you go round, because I know there's, uh, I, I can't, it wasn't Hannah, I remember when me and Chrissy went to, to Christian's workshop and there was this woman and she was making a mouse and literally putting the hairs on this little... Yeah, hair punches, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus uh, Christ. It was amazing. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Her punches, you know, so much patience. So you, you as a trainee, you would go around each department? Yeah, so you do go around a lot. I, I feel like um, I've been a lot in the silicon mainly, in the silicon room. But then, you know, you, yeah, when, once you're a trainee, I think you mainly start in the silicon room. And then uh, you help in the mall shop as well. You assist doing live tasks. And then, uh, yeah, once, you know, there is time, you can, you start doing some painting, you start, you start doing some hair punching. So you do move around a lot, but then at some point you specialize more into something. So you're either more in the painting room, either more in sculpture, you're either more in the motion show, either more in the uh, silicone room. But yeah, you do move around a lot. And as I said, I'm mainly in the silicone room. I paint sometimes as well, I go on set. But it can be a, a day that you know they need help in the mall shop, and I go help in there. So you do move around a lot. Sarah, you mentioned because you were, I hope I got it right. You were in the main team on the previous project, and now you're in the crowd as a trainer. Yeah. Give us a, a little, you know, for, for people listening. What's what would you say? What what are the differences, or, or is it very similar? Um, very different, very different, and just in even in just trainee world when you're doing in crowd like got all the fitting sheets and all that side of things um and all the because obviously you've got so many more you've got so many more people um it's different in terms it's kind of I don't know really yeah it's similar but different but there, there are a lot of there's a lot there's kind of the same amount of work but more it's more um I think the speed is because it's in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And especially in prep, it's all like, okay, now we've got to, just, we've got to establish all of these looks and have everyone in and make sure you're really on top of it. Um, yeah. You, and in regards of both of them, you just have to be so on top of, you have to be kind of a step ahead, try and predict what's going to happen, even though you have no idea what will happen. Um, <laughs> And continuity wise, so once you're actually like shooting, but that's kind of the thing that you you never want to fall behind on that because you will just get so in a muddle of your own head and be like, oh, I don't know what's going on. So you just it's so important to keep on top of everything and really be ahead of just know what questions you're gonna get asked in both both main and crowd. Really know what questions you're going to ask get asked so that when they get asked to you you can be like oh, i'm already here i know what's going on kind of thing was there any way you could prepare i mean it's like right i want you to become you know come over i want you to be my my crowd trainee are you given some advice had to prepare something or, or just just have to jump um kind of jump i was fortunate in terms of the some of the girls from crowd on the nevers are on what I'm on now so I kind of it wasn't like I was going into a room with completely new people so I kind of had that comfort of I can can I'm confident in asking anyone questions anyway but it's definitely I could 
I kind of grasped and on the nevers I was I would go into the crowd room and you would see what's happening and you're always kind of always watching what's going on no matter don't just walk into a room and not be like aware of what's happening just constantly make yourself aware of what's going on so you kind of pick things up as you're going so I kind of knew how it worked from an outside I'd just never physically done it um and the training and crowd on the nevers I you're kind of you work quite closely together just to keep things in check so you always pick up things that way kind of thing so yeah, you your people to that's good. Uh, well